I think it's important that everyone knows that acid reflux, heartburn, indigestion, GERD are the same medical term, uh, just a different way of saying it. Uh, so when a physician asks, do you have heartburn or those, the answer is yes um, to any of those or all of those. Uh, yes, it is extraordinarily common, but it is not normal. Um, and this is why it goes undiagnosed and unchecked, and then they, they wind up with significant disease processes because they're either ignoring it or they're self-treating it because they feel that it's just a normal part of life, and it is not a normal part of life. This is a pathologic problem that really needs to be addressed. Uncontrolled heartburn is a significant problem, and it's climbing in this country. Uh, at a significant rate. We have too many people that are undertreated um, or self-treating themselves with Tums and Rolaids and Maalox and things of that nature, uh, and this is still uncontrolled. Those are symptomatic relievers and not something that works to control heartburn. In the United States, the number one cause for esophageal cancer is heartburn. Um, it's on the rise. Um, it's 20 some thousand cases per year and climbing as of right this minute. Um, esophageal cancer is deadly. Uh, overall, of all the stages of it, the survival rate at five years is about 20%. And if that doesn't register as far as that's concerned, that means 80% of people diagnosed with esophageal cancer, all stages, die before the five years uh, out. If you have symptoms, um, you're having that heartburn, the acid reflux, the indigestion once a week, come and see us and, and get it checked out. It is something extremely preventable as far as esophageal cancer, but it is something extremely deadly and it goes unrecognized and unchecked so much because it's so common amongst the American population. Come see us and we'll get it taken care of. Please don't ignore it. Thank you.